Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. Tack Life has sent over a mini circular saw with laser. This is the corded version. And let's go ahead and open this up and see what it's all about. I'm cutting shelves for my studio here and thought this would be a great opportunity to try out this new tool. I've used several Tack Life products on my Land House YouTube channel and I have been pretty well impressed with them. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what all comes in the box. Looks like a guide, a handle, a little attachment for the vacuum, power cord, yeah. definitely feels heavy and solid. So there's the tool itself. Oops, I'm missing some little plastic piece in here. We'll see where that goes. And, ah, interesting. It has several different blades there. We'll have to open those up. And then it's got some literature and an Allen wrench. Let's see what happens if I just wing it here. So let's open up these different blades and see what we have. This one here is called a tile or backboard cement blade. Very nice. I'll give you a close-up of these here in just a bit. This next one is called the same. It's a tile backboard cement. This one right here. It's got a plastic protector around the blades. And this is a wood or metal 60 teeth. Very cool. Let's go ahead and pull the protective piece off of that. Like I said, I'll give you a close-up of that in just a bit. Here's a 24 tooth for some rougher cuts. Very cool. And then, looks like another one of the 60 tooth wood metal. So, it's got two of the smaller tooth and then two of the uh, cement cutting and then just one of your uh, 24 tooth rough cut. The little plastic piece that fell off earlier, I do believe is just a cover for the laser on off switch. So you don't accidentally hit that whenever you are storing it. So it won't turn your laser on and waste the battery. Let's take a look at the stuff that comes with this real quick. It's got a handle. We'll have to get that installed. It's got a little plastic piece that will be used for a vacuum, Allen wrench, and then this saw guide here, which goes from zero to seven inches. And then, like we just looked at, it's got all five of these different blades here. So those will be pretty handy to have for the things we're gonna be doing around here. Aha, I just noticed that another one of the 24 tooth rough cut is already installed. Nice, so they give you two of each, which is super nice to have because those can be expensive when you have to buy them separately. Okay, let's take a look at the tool. So starting with the power cord side, let's go ahead and peel back this little cord Velcro. And that is not attached, so you can remove it if you want to. It's got a twisty tie on here. Okay. Cord length, let's see here. So my arm span is somewhere around almost six foot. So there is six, seven, eight, man, nice. Well over 10 foot cord. So that is handy to have. Okay, so let's just start off here. It does have a rubberized handle that is kind of awkwardly big, but I think will be fine. And uh, you can actually keep your Allen wrench on the cord here. There's a little rubber loop and you can just stick that Allen wrench right down in there. It is a good fit and won't be coming off of there anytime soon. So that is really great because a lot of times you will lose those tools. Uh, let's see, so back here on the very back, it has a vent hole where the fan will blow some hot air out. It's got a safety here on the left side of the tool. 
So you'll have to push that down before you can push the trigger, which is a nice feature to have. Here is the blade guard. It is spring loaded as you would expect and does not lock up into place as you would expect. So on the top here is the laser. Let's remove that little cover and the laser is right there. So that's gonna shine on the work. We'll have to use that feature here in a bit when we actually cut something. Turn that off for now. There's a good chance I'm going to lose this little protective cover and uh, probably run the battery out on that. So as handle goes, let's see where this is supposed to be placed. I've never used one like this before. I may actually have to read the instruction booklet for where, I guess that attaches right up there on the top. I'm seeing some grooves. So we will access that here in a bit. Ah, that's how it works. You unscrew the handle and it will free up that so we can just unscrew. Hmm, I assume I usually would use right hand to hold this. So let's put the handle here on the top towards the left. Interesting. The little plastic laser cover has an indention there so it can go around that handle. So they have anticipated that you would put it in that direction. So there we go. You can hold it just like that. All right, let's move on to this side. Here is the button you're gonna push to lock down the blade. So let's go ahead and just spin that a little bit. Oh yeah, it's already locked down. So that's right there on this right side. Here is the adjustment for where you're gonna put your depth right there. So there's a tiny arrow right here that will tell you exactly where you have that locked down. A little flimsy on that thing, um, but I think it will be okay. Well, I don't know, we'll have to give that a try. See how well that's gonna lock down. Yeah, not bad. All right, so up here on the front, you've got another one of those that you can adjust for the angle of the cut. So it goes from zero degrees all the way up to 45. Up here on the top of the tool, there is an Allen wrench screw, and that's where you're able to slide your guide into. So I can just loosen that up just a bit slide that all the way across, and then I'm gonna be able to tighten that back down, and it would be a guide for keeping this straight on the edge of a piece of material. And that would just allow you to keep up to a seven inch cut there, since this is not gonna be bigger than that. All right, I think that's all the features we need to look at. Let's see about uh, what it would take to change out one of these blades. So I'm going to loosen this guide and plop it down there and then remove my Allen wrench from this side. Okay, I can hold my orange button and it shows unlock is this way, lock is that way. Yeah, it's going to be really easy to undo that blade. Very cool. All right, that's the tool. I've got a full size four by eight sheet of three quarter inch plywood that we're gonna use as our testing subject here. I think I'm gonna use the 60 tooth blade on this piece of plywood, and then we will try out something else with the 24 tooth that's already installed here. So let me go ahead and get this blade changed out and we will give it a try. All right, so to get this other blade on, I'm gonna pull my Allen wrench here. I need to drop down this up out of the way. I'm gonna hold that orange button that's up under here. Lock that down. I can, oh, it's fine, there it is, okay. Spin that until that locking nut comes off of there. Okay, now I'm gonna pull that guard back. Pull that up and put this back down. Let's 
So you can see it's pretty simple to uh, get this thing changed back out. It is a reverse thread nut, so it's a little bit awkward there. Luckily it steps up high enough that it doesn't interfere with that blade guard. Got that nice and tight. There we go. We should be set now to use that 60 tooth blade on there. I've got some safety goggles and I'm also going to be using some ear protection here. So I'm not entirely sure where the dust cup is supposed to point. Uh, I'm guessing since I don't have a vacuum, I may uh, just have it shoot off the side here um, because it doesn't seem to be doing great like that. Okay, uh, I think it's doing better with that dust going off to the side. A little tiny bit of tear out, nothing too bad though. All right, uh, this is actually taking a while with that fine tooth blade. Let's swap over and continue with the uh, 24 tooth. All right, now I'm trying that 24 tooth blade. That is definitely a lot faster. I actually prefer the 24 tooth blade over the 60 just because of the uh, speed. Uh, so now we're going to try out the laser. I need a two foot by four foot piece of this OSB. So I've got the laser cap off here. Let's flip that switch on. So it looks like it's going to stretch out to about a foot and a half or so. But right here at the edge it is super powerful. So let me go ahead and just start cutting this. So I've never used a laser on a saw like this before, and it's kind of fun. If it's uh, veering off to the side any, it will be hard to show up. But as soon as it hits that pencil mark, it gets a lot darker. So it's kind of how you can tell where the laser is. Okay, the laser worked well. I actually was looking further up here to see it because it was too bright right at the edge. Um, but I'm done with that. Let's go ahead and put the cap back on here. And it seemed to work out pretty good. The last feature that I want to check out is the guide that goes on the front here. So like I said before, you can use this screw to adjust that back and forth. The line, it's hard to see right here where the blade is is where you want to set. So let's say for instance right there it's got one inch and I actually did take the tape measure and I measured that and it was one inch from the guide. So let's just cut a piece here real quick to see how well that does. And that is one inch on the center of that line there. Very cool. So yeah, that guide can be handy for stuff that's within seven inches of the blade. Well, that concludes the first test of this Tac Life miniature circular saw. 
Typically, if I find something I don't like about a tool, I will mention it, but I don't see anything about this that is just annoying or messed up. So, a good tool. It's nice and heavy, seems to be well built. I guess one thing that I ran into was that I didn't tighten this handle down enough, and so whenever I went to push through, it would loosen. Um, so just give that a good uh, twist there to tighten it up. Cord length is great. I made those cuts on that eight foot piece and still had plenty of extra cord to go. And uh, we didn't get to the different uh, angles, you know, where you can decrease the depth there, or you can also uh, put this side to a 45 like that. But anyway, those should be just fine as well. I uh, did get to use the guide and that was good. Uh, like I said before, it's got a seven inch max reach there. And you can see, you can cut through a two by four. Yeah. With that blade there, but it's gonna be close. So that's pretty much as deep as you can go. Uh, just a two by four. If you're gonna do a four by four, you would have to um, turn it several times to cut through. But anyway, a nice little tool. Uh, handy to have the Allen wrench stored back here and the laser. I never used one of those before on a circular saw and it was quite handy. So if you are looking for a miniature circular saw, the Tack Life brand has been uh, good to me so far and I think you will uh, find it to be um, pretty good yourself. So link in the description down below if you want to check out this circular saw. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.